Yes, friend. So in that, uh, what you call in that sign, what is the degree of that moon? Moon is falling in a particular sign. In that particular sign, what is the degree of moon? And then that moon's degree is falling in which nachatra? In that sign. So that nachatra we can imagine about. We can just come to the word that this is the nachatra. And in this nachatra, how much uh, quarters or how many quarters it has crossed? What is the degree of that planet or the, that moon? in that particular nature. So total time period we know about or that major period of that planet we know about. Suppose that planet's major period is in this case 18 years of Rahu, right? And Rahu. So in that case and the moon is falling in this nature. Oh sorry. Of Rahu which is Swati Nachatra. Suppose Swati Nachatra is falling in between from six degree 40 minute to 20 degree, 20 degree, right? So in between suppose it is 13 degree. 6 degree 40 minute in between it is suppose 15 degree so now it is up to 20 degree so from that 26 sign past 20 degree we have to subtract that value 6 sign past 15 degree suppose so remaining is only 5 degree right so 5 degree is left over now we know that 13 degree 20 minute is equal to uh, 18 18 years of row okay so if i take 18 degree into that 5 degree divided by 13 degrees, 20 minutes. So in this way, we have to convert that into minutes so that years can be calculated. Out of 18 years, how many years will be utilized by this person? That is now known as... Okay, sorry. <coughs> sorry, friends. I'm always tired. Reason is lack of time, lack of time, lack of time. Okay, no problem at all. So now let me check. So in this way, the remaining period that... Uh, years we can calculate easily out of 18 years how many how many years are left now how much time is left for that person to be utilized in his life and that person will have major period of Rahu from the beginning from since time of birth onwards for how many years he will have a Rahu's period because Swati Nachatra is giving us Swati Nachatra is falling in or is a lot of Swati Nachatra is Rahu so what is Rahu's period in that case? So in this way, the calculation of major period of a particular planet is, is calculated, right? So this is how the process gets or process goes on. Now let us say that these nishatras, as I have told you, you now clearly let me talk about so that one can understand this. These are nishatras, serial number. So we discussed in the First lot of nine nachatras from one to nine, which was Ashni, Bharni, Kritika, Rohini, Mrikshra, Ardra, Punravasu, Pushya, Aslesha. Aslesha nachatra was loaded by Mercury, the ninth one. Ninth one, then eighteenth one, and twenty seventh one. These three nachatras are loaded by Mercury. Mercury is the lord of these three nachatras. Which one? Uh, first was uh, ninth one, which was Aslesha nachatra. 18th one is Jastha Nachatra and last one is uh, <coughs> Revati Nachatra, right? 27th Nachatra, uh, so 27th Nachatra, 18th Nachatra with Ashwini Bhani Katka Rohini Mastha Adva Pranvasi Pusha Tretha Maga Pur Pani Uttar Pani Hatta Chitra Swati Pusha Ka Anvata Jeshtha Mula Purvasha Uttar Sa Shravan Dhanisha Satosha Purvat Uttar Vata Revati Revati Nacha Tretha 27th one 27th, 18th and 9th The last, I mean the last Nachatra of the three lots First lot of 9th Nachatra, 9th Nachatra, 18th Nachatra and 27th Nachatra are loaded by Mercury so if these in these plan, I mean these nichatra, if a person's uh, time of birth falls or moon's moon falls or moon is falling in these out of these three nichatra, then the person will have Mercury's time period, Mercury's uh, major period, right? That Mercury's major period. Now how much major period is left over? Because the degree of that moon in this particular nichatra, in that particular nichatra will define about the person's remaining period of that major planet like Mercury here in this case. So if a person is born in Jastha Nachatra, this is Jastha Nachatra or Asvesa Nachatra or Revati Nachatra, then these three, three Nachatra will give a person the major period of Mercury. But major period of Mercury, how much is left over, how much degree. So 
from the degree we define about, right? This is the process of finding out, calculating the person's initial major period of a particular planet. And then the person has to utilize that period, remaining period in his life. And from that Mercury, suppose Mercury is ending, after that Ketu period will start. This cycle will start again. So seven years of Ketu, he will get, he will get after Mercury period is over, major period is over. Then Ketu, after Ketu, Venus, 20 years. Then Sun, six years. So these are the major periods which are in a cyclic way or in a cyclic manner. Right? They are just repeated. This is how these planets period are to be calculated. Right? So Nachatra, position of Nachatra and Rasi is very very important because with the help of Nachatra only, you can just imagine about that what the characteristics of a person. Nachatra. And then that Nachatra is falling in which sign? So according to those that sign, Lord of the Right, that sign is which planet? So planets characteristics. Uh, science plan or uh, Rashi's characteristics and Nachatra's characteristics these three things together making a person's personality the person who is born in a Nachatra then the person's characteristics are well defined okay this is how we have to understand that what are the Nachatra's what are the characteristics of Nachatra's one thing secondly science Aries to Pisces okay Mesh Rashi to Neil Rashi up to 12 sign so what are the characteristics of each sign and how many, what are the characteristics of these planets, nine planets. So in this way we can intermix them and which nachatra a person is born and that person's nachatra is falling in which sign and in which nachatra. Okay, nachatra is, uh, who is the lord of that nachatra. So these three characteristics are defining a person's personality. Okay, this is how the process of calculation and prediction, everything is going on. Okay, or goes on. This is, we have to just understand, these are the basics of and the Nachatraj is the quality of Vedic astrology very much dictated to one. I mean, you can just imagine about it. as I told you that uh, from in Mahabharata, in all the scriptures, most of the scriptures we will find about these astrological things. Because astrological things about Nachatraj, about planets, they say that Saturn, if it is in 8th uh, sign or 8th eighth, eighth house, then house is in which house that Rasi or that, that sign is falling. Okay, that planet is falling. Rasi uh, means houses, houses, Rasis, Nachatras and okay, planet. So all these four things, house is also important. In which house your uh, planet are posited in the horoscope. So that house is also important. Because they say that if Sun, Saturn is falling, most of the, I mean, as Narada says, Nardi Puran or in Nardi Puran you can find it or in Narada Sahita you can find it that Narada says, Narada Rishi says one, one uh, disciple or one, one I mean I think cousin, one cousin of a Rishi, okay, Pippalik name was his Pippalik and Baje, uh, I think he was uh, a cousin of, cousin or maybe niece, he was niece of a, one of the Rishi, Dhamma Rishi or uh, Bhardwaj Rishi, I think, Bhardwaj Rishi, okay? The Narad says to that person, because he was his fatherless. He, since his birth, the person was away from his father's position. I mean, he was not knowing who is his father, and father was staying away, or father was no more, maybe something, something happened. Then when that person, okay, who met with Narad, Narad Rishi or Maharishi, Naradi Puran, Narad Sainta, a lot of things are available. So in Narad Sainta, Narad says, that this person, Pippalika, Rishi Pippalika or Pippalika, the cousin or maybe niece of an, one major Rishi or Maharishi, that Maharishi may be Dhamma Rishi or no, Dham Bhardwaj Rishi, I think. So that Bhardwaj Rishi, this niece, met Narada. Narada Rishi says that your Saturn is in your eighth house or in the second house. Second house, eighth house, or is in the fourth house. Fourth house, eighth house, Saturn, you know, in Kantak Sunny. Contraction means just like a thorn, it will beat a person, it will what you call torture a person, just like a thorn. Kanti ki tarah chupta rahega, that Saturn's position in 8th house. But now it depends upon the position of Saturn in which sign. Suppose it is the Saturn's own sign, then there is no problem. Saturn's own sign, if it is in 8th house, right, if Saturn is posited in his, in his own sign, then the problem is not there. Father is alive. Father is father is with the person. He's staying for the whole life. No problem at all. But if Saturn is 
is posited in enemy sign, debilitated in the eighth house, then person's father will die in the early age, or person has to remain without his father. Okay, this is how the position of father and the son will be separated if Saturn's position is in the eighth house, second house, or in the fourth house. Fourth house of eighth house, the son is Saturn is known as contraction. But it depends upon, as I told you, that which in which sign Saturn is posited in a person's horoscope. A person's horoscope, I have found that Saturn is posited in his own sign, then there is no problem. Person is staying with his father. But if the Saturn is posited in enemy sign or is doubleted in the eighth house or in the second house or in the fourth house, then person is staying away from his father's father. His father is not alive or father is uh, staying away from the person. He has not seen his father since his birth. This is how so the problems arise or the father may die after some time when the person is born and after some years, one or two years or three years or whatever. I mean, it depends upon the time period then time period position of the Saturn. So, but Narada says, Narada Rishi says to that person that she showed that, I mean, disciple of his who found, who was found by him in a forest area, he's staying, he's staying away from his father, No, nobody was recognizing him. He was just known to his cousins, I mean, uncle. So uncle was some mercy or some, somebody. So then that person was so. So this is how the prediction of a person's life can be dictated with the help of Planets, Rasis, Nachatras, and position of that planet in a particular house. House is also very important. So position, if the promises are there in a person's horoscope, first is promises in a person's horoscope. Now promises are because of position of the planet in the horoscope, okay, or what is the strength of the planet in the horoscope of a person, that they are the promises made to the person. Second is the sub period, time period, which we calculate with the help of this major periods of these planets. This is very important. 120 years total. 7 plus 20 plus 6 plus 10 plus 7 plus 18 plus 17. Sorry, 16 plus 19 plus 17. 17 years are allotted to Mercury. 18 years to Rahu. 19 years to Saturn. And more years, 20 years are allotted to uh, major period is of Venus. Right? And the least period is 6 years which is allotted to Sun. So Sun's period is only for 6 years. Seven periods, seven years is for K2 as well as for Mars. Mars and K2 both are having seven, seven years. This is how if we add them, this is 120 years. So this is 120 years of Nana Chitra. Again, Nana Chitra will have 120 years. Okay, of major period of these planets. So these planets are just systematically repeated in the same way. So if we just imagine about that, which is this Nachatra, if we just know the Nachatra up to nine, then from nine onwards, we start from uh, eight, Oh, sorry, 9, 10, 11, 12, up to 18, from 18 to 19 onwards, up to 27. So if you repeat these nasatras and the names of these planets are known to you, the nine planets, K, B, S, we, we remember them. Okay, K, K2, Venus, and then K, B, S, Sun, K, K2, Venus, and Sun. After that, Moon, Mars, Rahu, 3, then Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury. These nine planets are to be known to the person, I mean, to be remembered by a person. Only then he can remember that or he can understand that who is the lord of this nachatra. That nachatra, because out of 927 nachatras, which nachatra is falling? So up to 1 to 9, then again uh, 10 to 18, then 19 to 27. So they are the nachatra which one has to remember. After that, one, we can understand that who is the lord of that nachatra. Because same systematic way of lordship of the planets there. Okay, and each planet is lording or has lordship over three nachatras. Okay, K2 is having three nachatras, first, tenth, and nineteenth. In this way, same way. Venus is having second, then twentieth one, after nine, sorry, eleventh uh, one, and then twentieth one. That is how the Venus is having. So Venus is having lordship over these plans after 9, 10th is loaded by Ketu and 11th will be loaded by Venus and then after 19, 20th one will be loaded by Venus. So this is how the plans are being loaded up. Okay, now come to the next one. So this time period is very important. So position of the planet, okay, and in which house the position of the planet is there. Yes, that is very important. After that we calculate time period of a person, then that time period will on this Mahadasa period 
major period of it, which, which planet is running at that moment. The person is having a better period in his life or not. That is very important. As I have seen that one person uh, did not get his, his study period or planets uh, which is of, for his study, higher studies. If that person didn't get that period of that planet in his uh, uh, studyhood, I mean when he was studying as a studentship, when he was a student of that particular uh, age, then that in that period that person didn't get his, his planet's time. Okay, major period of that planet was not obtained by that person. So that person couldn't get higher studies. Or, okay, or in higher studies he was neglected or he couldn't get higher studies. But in case of another person, same position of the planet and that higher studies, okay, that planet is how the person obtained in the same period when he was studying, the study period by running with the same Mahadasa period of that particular planet which is the, which represent the higher studies of that person and that person was topper in the topper throughout the university okay so he was university gold medalist throughout his studies in the university as well as in his studentship so this is how the planet's time period major period is the running of big period okay if a person is very unlucky he is not getting that appropriate period he is, has the promise in the horoscope horoscope has a lot of promises but those promises time period is running at the moment or not at that appropriate time this is known as destiny Destiny is defined in this way. So we cannot say that destiny is not defined. Destiny of a person is defined in the arc of Vedic astrology. That if a person is having proper destiny, improper destiny, I mean destiny is just obtained with the help of this. That how your dest destined period is obtained by you in your life or not. If a person is not obtained that, that proper period which is to be obtained at that particular age when a person is to be, okay, to study, to, uh, to do a business, to do a work, at that period, suppose a person is very old, 70, 80 plus, and after that he is getting that that position, I mean that what you call working periods, working planets uh, period, then how, what kind of work he will do? So he is now physically not so much capable. This is how the time period matters. So time period is making a person's destiny. So destiny is defined with the help of the major periods of these planets we have to calculate what is the process of calculating the major period of a, of a planet this is the process in which we, we have to just calculate the person's moon is staying or is posited in which sign first is sign in that sign which planet which nachatra is there what is the degree of that nachatra with the help of nachatra period we can calculate that what is the okay what is the remaining period okay in or nachatra is okay now after that we have to calculate that what is the oh, lot of that nachatra we know then the remaining okay remaining degree of that nachatra is what with the help of that remaining degree of that nachatra we can calculate the mahadasa period of that of the person in this way major periods are calculated so up to 18 nachatras we have discussed about next lot is from 19 nachatra which is Mool Nachatra, which is very important Nachatra, up to Revati Nachatra, 27th Nachatra. So those Nachatra are next from 240 degree onwards, 240 degree 00 minute to 253 degree 20 minute, then 253 degree 20 minute plus 13 degree more will give us 66 degree 40 minutes. So in this way, we will add same bit. Okay, now uh, here we will have 246. To 66 degree 40 minutes after that 266 degree 40 minutes up to and 246 okay so it will be then 260 degree 40 260 degree then in this way 260 degree then again added so it will be 273 degree 20 minutes in this way this whole thing is calculated so next lot we have to discuss after just five minutes okay after five minutes i'll take the next lecture series which will complete the 27 nachatras and after that we will just take one or two instances that how to find how what is the relationship of a person suppose a person has the time of birth uh, somewhere here and there then i'll just told you uh, i will tell you about that what is the process of finding out his major period okay if a person is is the uh, time of birth is falling in a particular sign or in a moon is posited in a particular sign then at two which degree and that degree what is nachatra falling or nachatra running in that person's life so that nachatra period 
is calculated that what degree, what quarter or in which quarter that nachatra is falling, okay, or is that nachatra is having which quarter, moon is posted at in which quarter. So with the help of those four quarters, okay, we can calculate the time period of that particular nachatra, okay. Moon is falling in uh, Rashi or sorry, nachatra of which planet, so nachatra of which planet, owner of that nachatra's planet, major period will be there, okay, so the process of this, we have just taken here nachatras and, uh, and, and the Rasis, which is very important, nachatras and Rasis, okay, and these are the basics of basic bar astrology we are talking about. First, I talked about the Rasis or signs, okay, how to, okay, calculate what the degree is given to each Rasi. Now, it is nachatras and Rasis, how nachatras is posited in, in, in Rasis. The process is similar. Same, if we add here again 30 degree, 20 minute of each nachatra, next nachatra, you will get other degrees also. Okay, one can make oneself these degree addition very easily if one knows some mathematics. Up to 10th standard, if, I just, if one has studied mathematics, then one can understand the addition of these degrees sim sim okay, simply. So that's not very difficult task. But this is just to calculation of a time period of a person. That is some difficult one, but that I'll also clarify. Degree, we have to first find out that what is the degree of that uh, that person's moon in at, in which degree that person is person's moon is falling in which sign, which sign and which nachatra. So nachatra, if you know, then we can calculate the major period. Okay. So see you then in the next lecture series, which is going to end this whole 27 nachatra. So after 27 nachatra, we will talk about some tithi or something. Because tithi calculation is also very important. Pachati is Indian Vedic concept and very important concept because moon's position, moon is okay running 12 degree, each 12 degree is making one tithi, 12 degree, 12 degree, if moon is running for 12 degree, so this 12 degree of, I mean, is making one tithi, 12 degree, moon's motion for 12 degree, because moon's longitude minus sun's longitude, what is the difference, if moon has crossed over, suppose, uh, uh, sun's longitude, moon is still, uh, sorry, sun is either behind moon, moon's longitude, if it is behind, then the initial, so sun's long, uh, moon's longitude minus sun's longitude, and then it can be, uh, okay, after that 180 degree onwards, now, second puck starts, so bright puck or, I mean, then a dark puck, that moon is 15, 15 days, 15 days, 15 days, we will talk about the Tithi system also. That is also very important. So Tithi system is Indian Vedic concept, very important one. With the help of the Tithi also some people predict that in which Tithi you are born. Okay, what is your Tithi of time birth? I mean, when you were born, in which Tithi you were born. So Tithis are also defined. A lot of, I mean, measurement are there. Mathematical, Vedic mathematics or Vedic astrology, Vedic, I mean, astronomical studies of Vedic astrology is very important. That's many, many certain other things. We'll talk about that also. But Vedic astrology is very important one. Just to know about one's own life. When a person is aware about astrological things or astrological, uh, what do you call it, studies, measurements, all these things, then first and foremost thing is that person, first of all, knows about himself or herself. A person is first study about himself or herself. What are my characteristics? What are my bad things or good things? Okay, that person he studies. After that, he goes towards his family members, what is his father's character, what is his mother's, what is his wife or husband or all those things, children, first children, then himself, himself or herself or father or mother, every person's qualities or characteristics the person knows about. Okay, that, that is his study point. After going through the, his whole family members or all the family members, then he study about other personalities. This is the process of learning. So if the basics are known to a person, first and foremost thing, a person, every person tries to understand about himself or herself. Only then he think about others. Okay? First person is selfish. Every person is by nature is a political animal. Okay? Every person by nature is a political animal. Or every person tries to be smart. So first and foremost thing, a person has to know about or knows about himself or herself. After that, he studies about his family members. After family members, he then goes to society, society to the nation, everything. So this is how the process of uh, going ahead, right? This is the process of learning. So similar, 
similar thing is in case of Vedic Astrology. If a person is understanding Vedic Astrology basics or all those things, after understanding those basics, without knowing what is the curse of his own horoscope, after that he will study about other family members of his. After family members, then he goes to society. This is the process. So first and foremost thing is, just to understand Rasis, houses, you know, horoscope. After Rasis, the horoscope, then planets, what are the planets, different planets, what are the position of them, what is the correction of the planets. After that, Rasis and Nachatra. Nachatras are very important because with their Nachatras, a lot of dictations or a lot of predictions are done. No dictations, predictions are done. Okay? People are so much, I mean, affluent about or they understand that what is the characteristics of a particular Nachatra or constellation. So this constellation or Nachatra, position of Nachatra in a person's, uh, I mean, horoscope, is very important because with the help of that, a person's time period is calculated, a person's characteristics are also known because who is the lord of that nakshatra, which planet is lord of that nakshatra, that is also going to specify or define a person's personality. Okay, this is going to be end, going to be ended, and in this case, let me just end this and see you then in the next lecture series. All right, next lecture series is. Again, very important because that is going to end the total 27 chatra. Because 27 chatra I have allotted to 6 lecture series. 2-2 two, two lecture series de devoted to 9 chatras. First 9 chatras, 2 lecture series. Next 9 chatra means for example these 2, 2 lecture series. Then again 2 lectures. Total 6 lectures and that I am going to give you one by one. Six Total 6 lectures. Six, uh, lecture series of this six lecture series lecture number six lecture six a b c d e up to f so these six lecture series will define you will give you a lot of information regarding nature and all these so please respond tell me about this what is the process of your learning and how you want to learn and what is the requirement which you have some doubts in your mind if there is doubt in your mind then just respond tell me about that what are your doubts if i am able to Clarify them. I just know. Uh, clear your doubts or clarify your doubts. So this is my process of just teaching. Now, now ne next thing is because some of the people have asked me, yes, sir, okay, Nashatra Rasi is after Nashatra Rasi, what you are going to take? So maybe Tithi or some important thing I'll take. This is also very important. One. Maybe Tithi calculation, how Tithi are calculated, then months, how months are calculated, what are the Riti Tithi, what are the Poon Tithi, all types of Tithis are also there, very important Tithi. They are very important in case of selection of, uh, uh, election of proper time, that is Muhurta. So Muhurta selection or election time, how to elect time, appropriate time just to work, just to do puja, worship, so worship time. Puja time, study time, all these things were studied, were done in the Vedic time with the help of auspicious time calculations. Right? What, what time is running? Is it auspicious one? Is it an inauspicious one? Should we take the decisions or not? That Muhurt collection or election of the time, appropriate time or Mahurt. So that Muhurt selection is based on Tethis, which Tethi is good, which Tethi is not good. Tethi calculation is also very important one. That is my next venture, maybe. Next venture I'll take in the seventh lecture series. If seventh lecture series is just, I'll just let me take if more than, um, I mean, Tithi, if there is any other important thing that I'll try to take first. But Tithi is maybe next next thing, next, uh, I mean, option of me, or for me. So uh, that I have to just clarify what are Tithi, because most of the people have asked me, Tithi is up to be clarified. Okay, so that I'll take next in the next lecture series. Okay, then see you in the next lecture series. Bye bye. Have the nice day. Okay, see you then. That is how this process is running. So, 27 nashatras, let me again tell you about this. 27 nashatras, the relationship between Rashi and nashatras. This is the topic of today, which I have just defined here. And these are very important things because nashatra, Rashi is planet. Which planet is loading that nashatra? The relationship of these nashatras and planets is very important. So, please. Try to just understand them and pay attention to what if you want to learn them. Okay, if you as some some of the people I have seen, they are very 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 interested in this subject. They are studying this or they are understanding this just for the life point of view. I mean, for their own life, just to understand your own your own life or your family members' life, your other 
uh, most appropriate person or most beloved one person okay for his or her life one has to just understand what is the um, study of Vedic 